Hi guys! Oh, this is for real. <laughs> Lincoln Center is a whole continent in itself. The vibe, the feeling, the excitedness, the whole raw energy of it all feels like we're in the cusp of a new beginning. Everybody over here is so gorgeous. Hi designers, and welcome to Project Runway. As a celebration of the revival of New York City, Lincoln Center is championing arts, and we're standing in the physical centerpiece of it all, the green. This bold green landscape is symbolic of the power of color to inspire, to uplift, and to celebrate this new beginning. So let me tell you, now is the time for bold, in-your-face color. Okay. It's the first thing that attracts your eye. It exudes emotion, and it tells your customer who you are. Thank you. Oh. 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 <laughs> this is your first challenge. Oh. A celebration of color. For your first challenge, you'll be working in two teams. Oh, two teams. Part of my brain is like, yay, and then another part of my brain is like, son of a bitch. Welcome to Project Runway. Each team is going to create a cohesive collection of eight monochromatic, high fashion runway looks celebrating color. Oh. <laughs> color is my thing, but using one color, I've never done it before, so I kind of want to see what I can come up with. All right, I'm gonna divide you guys up. Chantal, you're warm. Katie, you're cool. Octavio, you're warm. Every other designer, warm, cool. Split into your team, warm over here, cool over here. Chantal. Chantal, nice. Bones, nice to meet you. Bones yeah. and Katie. Christina. Team warm, here's your half of the color wheel. Team cool. So you'll each pick one color from the wheel, and that's the only color you get to use. This is a two-day challenge. Yes. And someone from the losing team will be out. No pressure. And one last thing, we don't want you to worry about what the other team is doing. Warm team, you'll be working days, and cool team, you'll be working in the evening. <gasps> no. Why? Now it's time to get to work. Thank Good you. luck. Good luck. Normally, to make a cohesive collection, you can use color, but when everybody has a different color and we can't even borrow colors from everybody else, we had to find other ways to make it cohesive. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, can we just talk about whatever color you're eyeing right I'll now? Take I want magenta. magenta. Okay, gold. I'll do the gold. gold. <laughs> no, I want... I'll take the red. Okay, I'll take the orange. Okay. We are presenting a whole collection, so we need something that could connect us. What kind of styles do you guys design? Yeah. Sparkle, sequins, and streetwear. Color is my thing. Yeah. Look at me, I look like a bag of Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> I do entertainment fashion. Honestly, I live in a world of drag queens. The looks that I create screams fabulous. Sequin, big, crazy, over the top, super extra. Where did the accent come from? I live in Jackson, Mississippi. OK, come oh, on. And I grew up though. in West Virginia, unfortunately. All the guys in my town wanted to be football players. I wanted to be Miss America or a figure skater or Barbie. I didn't know who I was. I was not confident in myself. One night, somebody painted my face in drag, and confidence started happening. I love doing evening wear, and I love 70s, 80s, 90s. I describe myself this power Latina. My aesthetic is sophisticated, a little bit sexy, but not that much. Sometimes in fashion, less is better. It's about the details. We have four pairs of pants, and then the rest are dresses. I do feel like we have two different collections here. There though. has to be like an element that like really pulls it together. Why don't we talk about hardware options? Because you can change anything up with an exposed zipper. I really don't have much hardware in mind at all. I think people have different interpretation or explanation of what being cohesive means. The idea that a designer needs to fit in with the team so much that you forget about yourself is total bull because that's not how you design. So who is comfortable designing for plus size? I am, because I am 
a juicy bitch. We have one more pretty plus size woman. The fashion industry doesn't create garments for a plus size woman. There are some pants that I can't even like get over my thighs. I think it's ridiculous. And so it's like, okay, fashion industry, you don't want those customers. I do. I used to think who wants to buy clothes from the girl from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Well, turns out a lot of people do because I'm awesome. I love creating clothes for anyone and everyone. I've done it before. I can help you. Okay, I've done a one plus, okay, yeah, a few so plus size, so. I feel excited to design clothes on a plus size girl. I grew up with two feminist parents and my mom didn't want us to have Barbies because she did not want us to compare ourselves to something that wasn't real. So masculine meets feminine is like my thing. I love gender fluidity because I'm all about breaking boxes. Okay, so we're good with colors and our models, right? We need to talk about a theme and then from there a design detail. Why don't we create like a flowers? The flower blooming is a good rebirth. Like More a roundness. Like romantic. Like yeah. Round. yeah, definitely yeah. romantic. Romantic, yeah. okay. I was raised by a tribe of strong women. So I know that this group of ladies that I'm working with, me being the only male, I need to play it safe and not piss off none of these women because if they do, they're coming after me. I think let's go with the theme, which was the flower. I like to work with the shapes. For example, on the sleeves, I would love to create the bows. And I thought I'd like to have one on the uh, back. I really like your bow idea. I would love to bring that detail into yeah. mine. I can interpret this top into uh, the connecting bows. Question, then... is our concept still a flower? I feel like we need more of a story because the story will really help us. I feel like we're going to a dinner. You know, like freedom, like being alive. The thing is that we haven't seen the fabrics yet. Yeah. True. Because when you see the fabrics, what you They're just draw may be changed. changed. I think we should just like all run to our fabrics, grab rolls, and, and we'll meet. Shop for like 20 minutes on your own and then come together at 21 minutes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm stressed. <laughs> Take me to mode, please.